Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. This is Matt from Jack Gymnastics and this video just gives you a brief overview of what to expect during the next phase of the Gymnastics Bias Programme with JST. Um, so this next phase will actually be fairly similar to the last one and primary focus will be to continuing uh, to develop bodyweight specific strength um, and in order to do that we'll be focusing on two primary movements that is the weighted chin up and the weighted parallel bar dip. Now the reason we're focusing on the weighted chin up as opposed to a regular pull up is because the underhand grip um, of the chin up has greater handover to strict ring muscle ups. So it's effectively just a more bang for your buck exercise. The reason we're doing parallel bar dips instead of ring dips um, is because the bars are fixed in place and therefore much more stable than the rings um, because the rings are freely movable. Um, that allows us to lift more weight um, which in turn allows us to focus more on developing um, absolute strength. Okay, so we'll continue to load the percentages um, the same as we have been doing over the last several weeks. Um, we'll build the volume and then we'll start to taper the volume back towards the end of the cycle um, and at that point we'll increase the intensity. Um, and once we've done that, we'll then be looking to hopefully retest and hit some bigger numbers. So the first couple of weeks shouldn't be crazy difficult, probably a seven out of 10 in terms of RPE. Um, and then towards the end of the cycle, once we've tapered the volume back in and increased the intensity, we'll be looking to push that to around a nine out of 10. Um, so that's the primary focus of this cycle. The secondary focus is on introducing more skill development. Um, so we'll be continuing to develop the freestanding handstand. Um, now the reason we're focusing on a freestanding handstand rather than handstand walking um, is for two reasons. One, it's important to develop higher skill attainment. So CrossFit is constantly um, advancing. People are getting better and better and the standards are um, becoming higher. So we need to stay ahead of the game. And the second reason is a freestanding handstand is much better for developing um, things like awareness, stability and balance, um, which you don't get so much of with handstand walking. So again, by developing this freestanding handstand now, that will um, give us a good base and that will improve our handstand walking later down the line. Um, and then second, uh, secondary to that, we'll be introducing more basic kipping drills. So nothing too fancy here, no bar muscle ups, ring muscle ups or anything like that yet. We will start to introduce them later, but for the time being, we'll just be focusing on improving the technique of our basic kipping on the bar and ring swings on the rings. Okay, and then finally, we're still very much in the off season, so we'll be continuing to develop uh, um, or continue to do a lot of prehab. Um, so we'll be focusing on joint stability and conditioning. So lots of scap stability work, um, also some, some conditioning for our elbows and wrists. Um, now I know this is typically the boring stuff, but it is very important, so please try to get it done if you can. Um, just to give you an example of why it's important, if you don't have strong and well-conditioned wrists, you simply won't be able to do um, the more fun stuff like handstand walking. Okay, so it's gonna help you or enable you to be able to do those things. And then finally, we'll have plenty of core work. Um, so we'll continue to focus on positional conditioning. So building volume in those key positions like the hollow and the arch, um, which is gonna help you with your kipping later down the line. And also core compression strength, um, which again is gonna help build that powerful kip. Um, so it's gonna help you with your toaster bar, bar muscle ups, ring muscle ups, etc. Okay, um, so hopefully that gives you a pretty good overview of what you can expect with this cycle. Um, I won't go into the next cycle in too much detail because um, we'll do a separate video on that. Um, but in the next cycle, we will continue to develop strict movements, um, but we'll choose new movements that allow us to perform higher rep ranges so that we can start to build and focus on hypertrophy and uh, more muscular endurance. Um, so, I think that pretty much summarizes everything I wanted to go through today. Um, if you do have any questions, then please just drop me a message on Fitter um, or you can send me a message directly on Instagram and I'll get back to you. All right, thank you and enjoy the program.